Hey there, Oscar here. I have a problem, and I wanted to show you how I found a solution for it. I have, I use communications with all my clients in a way that I let them pick whatever is easiest for them. And in this case, uh, one of my clients loves to use text messaging. So whenever he needs work done, whenever he has questions or anything, he just te sends me a text, and that's how we communicate. What I do for that since I want to be working on my computer is I use Google Voice. And Google Voice, if you don't know, has a desktop app. But for those of you that are already using Google Voice, you'll find that it's really hard to, for example, get, get all the files or get all the images that have been sent to you via text. Sometimes my client will send me a dozen new files, for example, graphics that need to be integrated into a flyer or similar things where uh, it's there's a lot of graphics going back and forth. You know, I create it, I send it back to him, he sends me back work to do. And I've been scratching my head on how to get all those files downloaded just for archival purposes, for backup purposes. Um, I usually process them right away when I get them. I do my thing and I move on. But sometimes I want to make sure I have a backup of everything and Google Voice is really not set up for that. I already explored the Google checkout feature for all your data and it does not come with the images which is understandable because if you send pictures back and forth a lot and maybe you're communicating with a dozen people or 30 people and you guys are sending pictures and memes or whatever that size could be the size of that file could be pretty big so I understand why they don't do it it's frustrating and annoying but they don't do it so I want to show you I found a solution for that. So let's let's have a look. First, I'm using Brave. So this is Brave, the Brave browser. I recommend it. I've talked about it before. I've talked about it on my TikTok, uh, Instagram. So definitely use Brave. But what I found is I found this extension called Download All Images. And it's got a good amount of rate, ratings, 320 plus, and a four-star rating. So I trust it. I read some of the comments and everything looks pretty good. Uh, the reviews are here, so you can take a look at that. I'll put the link down in the description. But take a look, for example. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move through this really quick, and you may see other parts of the screen that are a little bit blurred because there's some private information and stuff. But as I scroll up here, for example, see, so here's two images. Um, and if you see, if I get another image, and then another image here. So this goes on and on and on. And if I scroll all the way to the top, what I, you know, there'll be a lot more images and files there. So what I want to do is be able to get them all at once. So the first thing I'm going to do is upload, I mean, scroll all the way to the very top of the conversation, of the thread, as, as far as I can go. And this could be a few months for you, it could be a year, but if you're trying to get Google Voice, all the images from Google Voice downloaded all at once, this is how, this is the best way I found it. Once you get to the very top, and I may take a minute here, sometimes it needs to, you know, kind of think about it and you keep going up, so let's go up. Okay, I scrolled pretty much all the way to the top or the part where I'm interested in. In my case, uh, it's I'm going to stop around January. That just happens to be what I need. And you have to do this. You have to scroll all the way to the top because this extension only will get the images that are visible on the page. And the whole, por the whole purpose of this extension is to grab all the images on a single page. But because Google Voice has lazy load images or lazy load text you have to keep scrolling up and that might take you a few minutes I, I sped through this part so I could get to it but once you get to the part where you want to do simply go to up to the extension click on that and it's going to start working and it's going to start downloading images you see this counter going up it gets about a hundred images so now let's put it into our desktop maybe make a new folder We'll name it like that and save it. And then let's go to have a look and see what we've got. Okay, so there's a list. So it's about 14 megs. 
is kind of what I've expected. So I'm going to unzip that and see what we've got. So now that I am able to open it, I unzip that file and all the images that my client has ever sent me and all the images I've sent him are all listed here. And now I can sort through them or look at whatever I need any information I'm missing, then I'm just going to go through that and be able to get them from here. So this is just a quick tutorial. I found a really good solution for a problem I was having. And if you're having the same issue where you cannot get your files from Google Voice because they're just not convenient and you don't want to go through each one and download, save, download, save each one, then this might be the solution for you. So thanks for watching. Uh, link is down below. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe, like this, and share it if you think anybody else will find it useful. Until next time, bye.